Can you imagine being such a failure? You can't even kill yourself. I kind of fell off a climbing wall. I can't even say I fell, I jumped. Bunch of breaks in the left and a bunch more in the right. I detached some tendons, I ruptured everything from the shins down, and then things got worse. The business has crashed, you don't have a penny to your name, you're up to your eyeballs in debt. And there I sat counting painkillers. And the only way out of this hole was up. And for the next three years of my life, Everest was my reason to get out of bed. And this is the crazy part where I say my bucket list saved my life. They say that I was the 17th South African to reach the top. But you know what? I like to think I was the first South African to limp up there. Your success will only be significant when it affects others for the better. All of a sudden, success becomes significance. When I came back from Everest, I had one sentence in my head. It's an obvious project. And it's here. It's finally done. People are happiest, healthiest, and most productive doing the things that matter to them.